Hi, I'm JT from 908 Motorsports Magazine. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble, put together your holiday canopy on your enclosed trailer. I have a 12 by 20, so this is specifically for that. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it with just one other person, but I'll briefly touch on, on how to do it if you were blessed and had a couple more people in your pit that day to help you. All right, once you got all your hardware out of the trailer, this is kind of self-contained in this bag, it's really small. Consider it's 12 by 20 for my application. That folds up really nice. Here's all the framing hardware that we have. You can see I color-coded the end for easy installation. And I just got a little container this size to store all the hardware in, all the bracketry. And all the bracketry, you can see how complex it looks. So if you don't color code it, it would take you some time doing it. So you just mark everything up and I lay it out accordingly. Holiday Canopies makes an optional bag that you can put your, your framework in. I didn't opt for that. I just made my own box out of some wood I had laying around. I put, I stacked all my hardware up, took a measurement of how big I can make it. And uh, you see, I just got an opening on one end and I slide it in. And I put this on my wheel well, because my car is a little too low. You may be able to slide it right underneath your car, but I put mine on my wheel well and then attach it to the wall with that, this, and there's one on the other side. When you get your kit, they're going to come with the mounting hardware to, to mount to your actual trailer. Um, real simple application. It comes with self-tapping screws. And you're going to put this in. Push the pin in. And that's done. Easy. All right, I got somebody holding the other end. Now I'm just putting color to color, black to black. I'm going in the flush on this one and just tighten up my hand. Set it down easy because this will scratch your trailer. All right, now we're gonna put the center one in. And just bottom it out, go to the end on this one. Tighten up. When I'm working by myself, I get a piece of cardboard handy. So this doesn't kill the trailer when I lay it down. Okay, now the other top hole is going to go into the end in the middle, green to green. I'm not going to tighten it yet because I'm not sure of the distance. Now we're going to take the blue pole and go up to the blue. We're going to lift this up, get underneath. Now just make sure it goes all the way into the end. And you let it down, and that should hold the whole thing up. I'm going to do the, the, the middle one and then the other end one next. Okay, now I'm going to do the middle pole. Same thing, blue to blue. All right, now I'm gonna go on a ladder and just tighten all those connections. All right, now I'm just gonna make sure that all of these connections are tight. These have to be hand tight. And I'm gonna do the same all the way across. Okay, now I'm gonna start constructing the front side of the top rail. 
have everything color coded, red to red, blue to blue, green to green, yellow's for the upright stanchion. So I'm gonna start on the corner first. Corner you can pipe now, but the center you can't yet. All right, we're back. Had to take a little rain delay pause. Uh, got a little thunderstorm go over us. We're back. We got our corner secure. Now, I just want to tighten up the ends. Remember, you can't do the center before the corners because you don't know how far you're going to need to go left to right. And that's it. Okay. There's many ways to secure the bottom base of your uh, canopy. Some people use spare tires, some people use brake drums, rotors, uh, or empty water jugs and just fill them at the track or the shell wherever you're going. Too much hassle for me to do that. I just, I picked up three 25 pound plates. I go like this, I slip it over the top, put the eye bolt back in, and I'm secure. All right, now we're gonna stand the frame up. I'm gonna pick it up. You got somebody on the end helping me? Just get the pole secured in. Make sure your your eye bolt is loose. And you just grab it and it'll pull right into place like that. All right, now we're gonna do this corner. Same thing, lift it up. Yellow to yellow. Okay, the final two pieces of the framing are the red, red corner ones. I'll show you how I put them in. We go into the end first and keep this off the side of the trailer, right? Just keep it off and it'll just support itself. I'm gonna move the ladder. And we pull the pin. That easy. I'll tighten that end up. Tighten the end up. While you're up here, just double check just in case you forgot anything. Takes a second. Like I said, while you're up here tightening, make sure you didn't forget and do them all. And now the entire canopy framework is installed. If you had four or five extra hands, a couple people to help you. You could put the canopy on from here. Um, it's just a lot harder to do by yourself. So I'm gonna show you how I would do it by myself with the help of one person. You could put the canopy on, no problem. Okay, we're gonna put the tarp on now. First step is to just lay it out, orient it so it's in the right position so the top part goes up, right corner, All right? Just grab a handful of it. You're gonna find your corner, which is right here. And we're gonna walk up. I just wanna jump to the other side so I can show you how I set that corner in. You take the corner and you just see the inside. You can see where all the seams are. Kind of reinforced a little bit. That's going to go in the corner of your bracket tree. You just pull that up and over. And when you're working by yourself or when just one other person, I just like to temporarily secure this side so you don't lose it as you're pulling over. So I just go like this and maybe in two, two spots, maybe here. And here, and I'm going to work from the top over but now I know that this isn't going anywhere. Okay, now, so I'm gonna go to the middle and just put like one or two straps here to secure it. And then I'm gonna work my way back down and just secure this one section. All 
Every two feet, we have a strap here that's gonna go over that top support bar. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna set this corner now. Okay, since I'm here, I'm just gonna secure a couple of these temporarily just so I don't lose it. Okay, now we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna to try to set it in there and temporarily just secure this bottom part. So once you secure that corner, you don't work your way across because you may get yourself into some trouble a little later. So I go right to the other corner and just temporarily secure that. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, I found the corner. We're gonna set this last corner in. Okay, we're gonna pick it up now. Remember, set that pole in. And it'll just fall in. I'm going to do this end one next. Now that we got all the uprights in place, we're just going to secure all the yellow ends. Remember, just hand tight. Okay, now we're going to put the red in. Secure it into place. And just work this side up. I'm going to the other end, tighten that connection, then we're going to clip the tarp to this side. All right, so this connector here goes to this, goes around both bars. And you just pull it tight. I'm gonna do the same all the way up. And there's a zipper in the center. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side, same exact way. Get the pole, red to red. There you go. Now we're gonna attach this side exactly like we did the other one. Okay, once you got the both sides done, now we're gonna work our way across the front. Just like the sides, it's the larger strap. All right, now we're gonna secure the center zipper. Basically, the tarp is pretty much secured. Wes at a holiday canopy put a lot of time and thought into this, making this just a, a sanctuary at the track or at a show. Uh, they thought everything out, even to the point where they give you the little snap hardware to put on the side of your trailer. So we're gonna do this and turn this in so this stays tight. It's that easy. You do the same thing to the front.
All right, now these canopies come with uh, optional sides. I have a fully enclosed one, so I'll show you how that goes together. They're uh, conveniently numbered. This is uh, numbered here, it's stitched here with a number two. This side over here, got number one. So you grab the appropriate panel and put it in. It's as simple as zippering it. So I have a number one on this side. Find my zipper. And then I pull it across. Obviously, it's best to install these clips after you get everything put together so you know exactly where to drill. Push it in, secure it, and turn. More often than not, this is how I typically set up. I like access for the people and to come in and see the car and see everything going on. But usually this is in the back side, just to just, to just stop it, make it nice. I have a red car, kind of provides a nice backdrop. Now we're gonna do the front part, the front part of the car. A couple ways you could start it. I'm gonna try starting it just from here first. I'm gonna wrap this around and get the corners situated. Just to give you a close up, there's a number three, here's a number three. I wrote center top, just so I know. Again, we're gonna do this one just like we did the others. All right, we're gonna put the final side up the same way. Found my number four, got number four. And we gotta secure the outside the same way, but you can't get in and out, so I usually leave this one open. Here's all four sides up. First time I actually put this together at a real track show, it was uh, Maple Grove at the Super Chevy show in July. We had three days of nonstop rain. I set this up, I pitched a tent inside, and I never got wet once. This really made my life easy. All right, now I'm going to show you how these sides roll up. Take the zipper, unzip it all the way. We're going to start at the bottom, pull tight, and just start rolling. Now if you want total privacy, pull your car in here, and you got one side up. Fully open, lay out your pit mat. You can have your car here, picnic table, whatever you need, fully enclosed. Highly recommend holiday canopies.